let's move on to the next part, which is really fascinating. Put this on the screen. Uh, Liz Truss apparently had her phone hacked by the Russians throughout her short, very yeah. short tenure as the PM. Allegedly, Crystal included text messages and discussions between Truss and foreign officials, including the most sensitive negotiations, discussions, and thoughts about the war in Ukraine. Yeah, Apparently, yeah. that hack went ahead uh, during the, quote, summer Tory leadership campaign. So basically, while she was pressing forward, here's the crazy thing. The news of the hack was discovered, but was then covered up yes. by some of the people in government. That's why what we just showed you, there is now a call in the government to open an investigation as to whether her phone was hacked while she was the foreign secretary, possibly while she was even the PM, and that whether the details of that breach were then hid from the public and worse, from Parliament and the rest of the people in her party. It really does remind me of, you know, the WikiLeaks fallout scandal from 09 when it turned out like we were tapping Angela Merkel's phones. Mm. I mean, all these foreign leaders should probably be under the impression that they are hacked. Right. At this point, from what I've, you know, read and understand about Pegasus, Pegasus 2 in particular, like, as long as they have your phone number, you're a goner. There ain't a damn thing. You Apparently, Apple has lockdown mode. Even that, I'm like, how much of this is all just right. theater? Who knows yeah. whether it's true or not. I mean, yet another conservative party scandal basically yes. in the making because you know, the allegation or the, the reporting is that this hack, um, which completely compromised her phone and potentially you know, uh, allowed the Russians to access all kinds of sensitive conversations about what their plans were with regard to the war, et cetera, et cetera, that this actually happened under Boris Johnson's leadership when she was foreign secretary. So it's taken all of this time where they were hiding and suppressing this information for this news ultimately to come out. So um, yeah, that's uh, the very latest in terms of the sort of like uh, unfolding Tory party drama that is going on in mm -hmm. the UK. Yeah, I mean, it also highlights too, just like there's a lot of infrastructure that people in our government, you know, having interacted with people at the highest level in the yeah. White House and all that, they don't take any real precautions. Like, here's the truth, they really don't. At best, they have signal on their phones. The boomers don't even have signal on their phones. They're just using out straight up iMessage. How secure is that? I don't know. There's no real bet. You know, there were all those discussions about whether Trump's phone was hacked. I wouldn't put it past for a second. You know, many people were saying at the White House in particular that they did a micro-nave analysis or something, and there were all these governments that had basically launched right near the White House complex. Do we really have wow. trust that we have enough jamming equipment to make it all happen? We like to think that all these technologies exist. I'm just not so sure whenever I see things like this. Why was it that easy to get into the hack into the foreign secretary of the second most powerful nation in the world? I mean, yeah. you know, why should we be any different too here in the US? How many are hacked and we don't even know about it? Right. That's the real question yeah, uh, that comes right. out. I mean, we, we reported on, what is it called? It's Pegasus? Is yeah, it's Pegasus. Called, is right? the, the, yeah, that's the one created by Mossad, but the right. Saudis bought it. Whatever. All kinds of different uh, countries. But Mexico, I think, as well. A bunch yeah. of different nations and, uh, you know, other... Uh, uh, actors around the world and it doesn't even require you know oftentimes to get hacked you have to like click on something that was this, pegasus one yeah, yeah. this pegasus one doesn't two, even require like, that they don't need they anything. just need your phone number and that's it you're done right so. and so even if you change your phone number like if you're a state actor presumably you know at that level you getting somebody's phone number especially if you have a quasi legit reason like you know the russian government has a reason to have liz Truss's phone number in case they want to call her well that means they can also hack her if they want to so this is the perils of our digital age here people modern age Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.